So, Ashley, I'm going to now feed my goats with some of the mangoes. And you're going to see how they love the mangoes. Yes, they love it. As you can see, the goats, the goats are going crazy over the mangoes. They really love the mangoes. The goats are chewing the mangoes. The juice coming out his mouth. He's, he's licking his mouth. Look at what he's doing. All the goats are doing that. They literally peel the mango and then lick them out. Look at that. And they chew the mango and they peel it and they suck out the seeds. And what they usually do, after they finish peeling it and suck off the seed, when they finish, they'll come back and take up some of the seeds and chew up the seed again and eat out inside of the, the seed. They'll just break up the seed. But right now, they are just peeling the mangoes and drinking the juice. Look at that. So, today in my video, what I am going to be looking at today I have run out of hay. We cannot get hay at this time. Hay is in short supply. So I have come. I have not fed any hay a couple days now. And we've been feeding so much mangoes. Literally mangoes. And I just give them a little bag feeding along with the hay, with the mangoes. And I come to look at the feces because I want to see if the feces of the goats are okay and what is happening. I also cut a little wild tambourine recently but that's just one time so we have some wild tambourine also in the trap but the main diet now they are probably getting maybe 90 percent mangoes right now yeah very very high amount of mango this is how i collect the mangoes in bags upon bags of mangoes i collected maybe about 800 pounds of mangoes yesterday so when we get the mangoes from the processors what we actually get is just like this mango skin if you can see these bags are filled with mango skin so the processors peel the mango and that is what the end result. This is the seed part of the mangoes. So they peel it and they, they, they have all of these seeds and the skins and so forth. And they, you know, export the rest of it. So all these mangoes are here. This is the mango seed. I feed them my goats with both the mango seeds, the mango peels, and I also collect mangoes. If you look here, we collect van loads of mangoes, especially airy mangoes. So I hear people talking about, oh, let us cut up these mangoes. We sometimes have thousands of mangoes like this. Can you imagine how much work it would be to, 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 to be able to cut up the mangoes and feed the animals? It's not really possible. It would take a lot of time. This is some of the mangoes here that we collect. Mangoes, all different kind of mangoes. We have them in bags and bags, the spoiled ones, the good ones, they are all here. And we feed our animals with mangoes. Right now, hay is in short supply in Jamaica. So I try to go and cut a load of grass, you know, ever so often, but we're not doing enough of it. And I'm almost just feeding mangoes alone with very little roughage. So I came today because I wanted to have a look at the feces. You have to look at the goat poop, which is very important when you are doing it. Because if you are feeding certain things to your animals and that goat poop changes, you have to look at the roundness, if it have an oval shape, if the poop is getting soft, you have to look at the conditions of the mango and see what is happening.